Greetings to all the staff and faculty at Holy Guardian Angel School. Father Don Sunowitz here from St. Mary's in Hamburg. Just wishing you God's blessings on your new year as you prepare. Lord knows what it will bring, but with your creativity and hard work, we will get through. Remember, it's all for the Lord. God bless you and your year. Hello everyone, this is Monsignor Finelli, pastor of St. Francis of Assisi Church in Allentown, Pennsylvania, and judicial vicar for the Diocese of Allentown. I received an email from Andrew asking me to send you this little video, and I sent an email back to him and say, why are you asking me to send this? Probably 90% of your teachers don't even know me. Uh, but I do know some of you by uh, all my years of coming to confirmations at HGA and uh, seeing in particular uh, the eighth grade class. I want to take a moment, regardless if I know you or not, to uh, thank you for uh, your service and great work as a teacher. It often goes unthanked or maybe even unnoticed by many. Trust me, your priests and deacons recognize the great sacrifice you make for the good of education and the, for the good of evangelization and bringing kids to Christ. Thank you for all that you do. And as you begin this school year, as difficult as it may be, who knows what the weeks and months have in store, regardless of how you teach, whether it be in your classroom or virtually or however, uh, I know you'll do a great job because every Catholic school teacher I've ever met truly loves teaching and loves their kids. And if that's the basis, then great things can come. So again, thank you so very much for all your work and commitment uh, to uh, not only Holy Guardian Angels and to your school, but to the church at large. We thank you very, very much for all that you sacrifice to be a Catholic school teacher. Hello, dear faculty and staff at Holy Guardian Angels Regional School. Father Hoffa here coming actually to you from my office uh, in my new position as head of school at Marion Catholic High School in Tamaqua. Um, I just wanted to reach out and I, I thank Andrew for giving me the opportunity to do so to assure you of my prayers uh, during this time. Um, we are all traveling through this unsettled time. But one of the phrases that I keep taking with me, and I'm going to be speaking to my own faculty about with our retreat this year, is the beautiful phrase from Revelation, Behold, I make all things new. The grace and power of God makes all things new for each and every one of us. He's doing that for you, and he's going to do it th through you for your students. And so be renewed in that fact, be encouraged by that fact, and know that God is with you in all that you do as a Catholic educator, and know of my prayers for you. God bless you all. Hello, this is Father Zalonis. Many of you may remember me as an assistant pastor at Holy Guardian Angels Parish from January 2008 to June of 2014. A uh, great part of my time uh, was uh, I enjoyed with the administration, faculty, and students, especially of HGA Regional School. Enjoyed coming over to kind of give a, a guest teaching appearance or just to see the kids doing whatever they were doing. But most of all, uh, I very much relish the opportunity to offer the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass and other devotions with them. Very much uh, a product of Catholic education and an advocate of it. Even though our own parish, now where I am as pastor of St. Peter and Paul Parish in Lehighton, does not have its own parochial school anymore. It closed about six years ago. We all know the realities of uh, smaller families, budgetary restraints, uh, you name it. And uh, uh, so we're, we are very fortunate to be able to continue to offer Catholic education, even if we have to be creative. Imagine that you guys have had to be super creative in the past several months uh, since March. 
and going forward. And I know you guys, uh, young and old, continue to respond in new ways to the, the challenges of time, proclaiming the ever ancient but ever new gospel of Jesus Christ, and in which you share in the church's mission of caring for their souls and bodies, helping them to grow to their full potential in Christ. So thank you for that. Please let us keep each other in our prayers uh, that uh, the Lord may be known and loved through us. Good morning, faculty and staff of Holy Guardian Angels School. Um, my name is Father George, or Father Winnie, Father George Winnie. Um, and um, I uh, was until 2014 the pastor of, of St. Joseph's in Reading and um, was connected with Holy Guardian Angel School and just have so many wonderful memories of a, 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 of a great community, a great school. And so it's just such a great privilege to be invited to be part of the, of the video and just share thoughts with you. I, I, I certainly pray for for your school year and my goodness we're all kind of wondering exactly what the school year is going to look like and, but you know um i don't know if you can see clearly or at least a little bit the picture that's behind me on the wall here it's a, it's a favorite image of mine of, of jesus holding a little child and um you know that's what i would encourage you to 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 uh reflect on once in a while that that jesus is with you that you are so, um, you know, loved by Jesus and 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 protected and cared for. You, as a teacher, what a what a wonderful vocation to be able to be to be instruments, to be messengers of of, of the love and the presence of Jesus, the caring of Jesus, the concern of Jesus in in, in the lives of so many young people and. You know, as they carry stuff in their hearts and their minds, as we all do, um, may may you know how much you are embraced by Jesus, how much you are loved by Jesus, how much you are cared for by Jesus, and and um, you know how much the church is with you. And maybe sometimes the institutional church, the administrative part of the church, you know, irritates us or. You know, gives us cause for concern. Um, you know, the, the, the sacramental church, the community of the church, that is the church. You know, we're all together. And we're all, we all hopefully love and support one another. And uh, that's what we need to embrace, that we're one in the Eucharist. We're, we're one as a baptismal people and, and confirmed in, in faith and in hope and in love. So, um... You know, just know that whatever, whatever form the school year is going to take, um, you know, it seems to change day by day. Um, whatever it is, you're not alone, and you're not just as a uh, the community of Holy Guardian Angel School, but you know the the whole church, because that's that's a huge part of what it what it is to be Catholic, and we're so grateful to God, to Jesus for giving us the church. And um, so, know that you are loved, you are cared for, you are prayed for, and I certainly um, can tell you for sure that I will be keeping you in my prayers and my thoughts as we you know, go through these these uh, getting ready for the new beginning and, and the new beginning and, and the coming year. May God bless you, and may you know Jesus' love and know the power of the Holy Spirit in your lives. God bless you. Hey. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, over here at St. Paul's, this is uh, Senior John Gravish. And uh, on behalf of our community here at St. Paul's, but especially at St. Joseph's Parish, uh, being the, the uh, merger school uh, connected with uh, Holy Garden Angels Regional School. Uh, we're praying for everybody. Uh, we 
you know, in a special way that for our staff and for our administration, uh, these are such difficult days. It's, it's uh, just been a, an unprecedented and, and unequal kind of uh, difficult uh, time to try to figure what, what we need to do, how we can do things. And so we're, we're praying, put it, put it in the Lord's hands. Give us stay our daily bread, one day at a time we live. Uh, yesterday's over, tomorrow didn't get here. So here we are as we uh, enter into a school year uh, in this coronavirus situation. So uh, please be assured of uh, my prayers, our prayers here at uh, St. Joseph's and St. Paul's parishes as we uh, continue to, uh, again, rely on the Lord's help as providence uh, for this day and each day, one day at a time. God bless everyone. Fellow faculty and staff of Holy Guardian Angels, welcome back as we prepare to begin this new school year. Thank you for all the extra work and diligence you've been showing in getting ready for this year. I know the circumstances are truly unique but you are greatly appreciated and also prayed for. So I weigh in retreat this week, but as I do so, I'll be offering my prayers and masses for you and throughout the school year as you go about this great work of Catholic education for our students here at Holy Guardian Angels. So again, welcome back. Thank you, God bless, and I will keep you in prayer. Hello, my name is Father Mike Camilli, and I'm a parishioner of Holy Garden Angels ever since this parish was at the beginning of the 19, uh, uh, 70 years, years ago. And uh, I went to the school at some, this parking lot, and because my mother and father were among the first parishioners to begin this parish, when they went to St. Anthony's Chapel in Temple, which is where I made most of my sacraments, and which is remembered by this beautiful statue that is now by our chapel here at Holy Garden Angels. I want to talk to you about parochial school because I'm a graduate from class of 1946 out of Holy Garden Angels and I want to tell you three things about coming to this school. First of all, I learned from the school to have a great attitude of gratitude not only for the parents that they were sending me to the Holy Garden Angels, but also for the teachers who really worked and sacrificed their lives to teach me what I did to become what I have today. When I went to school here at Holy Garden Angels, there were about 200 kids in the school, which was on top of the old church. There were only four classrooms, four nuns, the four sisters, they taught, and one of the principal was the principal, she was the eighth grade teacher seventh and eighth grade teachers. And you know, you're going through a pandemic, virtual education, as well as real education, person to person. And we did the same thing because we had two grades in every room. There were about 50 kids in the school room of that class, uh, 25 first grade, 25 second grade, 25 third grade, etc. And the teacher had to divide up her time give us instructions at the same time to keep the other head busy and it worked out well because in that process while I was sitting say in third grade I could hear her talk when I was doing desk work as a third grader to the fourth graders and I anticipated learning they taught me how to anticipate and learn more and it worked because when I was done with Holy Garden Angels I went to Central Catholic I went to college I went to a seminary and I went to Rome and I got a degree in church history, doctorate degree. And I'm, I'm able here today what I am, a, a retired teacher. Of course, you know, I'm, uh, I'm one year younger than God. I'm uh, in, uh, 85 years old, so I am retired. I came back to home to be your priest. So that's the first thing I remember from the school. But you have the same kind of teachers in your school today. These are people, because we don't have any more sisters teaching in the school, who give their lives 
to educate you at a cheaper salary than they get in public school, but because they feel you're worth it. They love you and you, you love them. When the sisters used to walk down from the convent for them every day, especially in the winter time, we waited for them down at the school, ran up the hill and helped them carry their books down. That's how much we love them. Number two, I want you to realize that this pandemic thing really has some good that can come out of it because it shows you that you have assistance from these capable teachers and from your parents who want the best for you, but you also have to use your energy to learn. You have to make use of that time in the way you know best. That's where you come in, and that's where your talents and your abilities come in to make your enhance your education. And number three, spiritually. If there's anything I owe to Holy Garden Angels, it's my spiritual life. I was baptized here, made my first communion here, confirmed here. I was ordained priest. I said, for the first mass here, and I now minister here every Sunday and sometimes during the week. You know why? They taught me that God was so much a part of my life. I remember something the sister in second grade taught us about praying. She said, I know you kids like to go outside and play, like you run around, you ride your bikes. She says, do all kinds of things. She says, remember, but do it in an attitude of prayer. I don't expect you to walk around holding your hands like this all the time. She says, but the first thing you do in the morning, when you wake up and you're brushing your teeth and you look in the mirror as you're brushing your teeth, remember that you are a child of God. And remember also that you tell God that morning that your whole day is going to be a prayer, where you study, when you work, when you play, you offer up that God that as a prayer, and then you'll say in the presence of God. So remember, be first grateful, second, make use of the talents you have during this difficult time, but also keep close to God who is always with us. God bless you all, and have a good year. Thank you for your service to the Diocese of Allentown and to Holy Guardian Angel School. 